Well, there's an Irish proverb that says, uh, hope is the physician of each misery. Uh, when it comes to cancer, hope is found in uh, family uh, and in faith. Uh, it's found in treatment. It's found in remission. And it is found significantly in early diagnosis. Today is an important day for our province, and I would argue for, for people around the world, uh, in terms of the last, this, this last listed source of hope. Phenomenal Discoveries has completed a two-year research trial to detect colorectal cancer in its earliest stages using a simple blood test. The project involved 5,000 patients in Regina. This new blood test led to the diagnosis of 87% of early stage cancers. As far as anyone knows, that's the most sensitive blood test available. The results were obviously very positive. This is a very encouraging uh, result. And Phenomenome is now preparing to pilot the test further. And the province of Saskatchewan is licensing this test. I'm going to leave the details to, to Scott uh, and uh, perhaps to Dr. Tanita and, uh, and Dr. Goodenow to, to talk a little bit more about. But know this, that every year in our province, 650 people are diagnosed with colorectal cancer, and sadly 250 of those lose their battle. I'm encouraged, not only uh, as a result of this test and its implications for our province and our country and around the world, but I'm encouraged that this particular test is going to complement what has been an expansion in uh, colorectal cancer screening in this province very, very recently. Now available and underway in five different health regions and we expect it to expand uh, very, very soon. We know that colorectal cancer is comparatively easy to treat if it's diagnosed early. Uh, and that's why today uh, is, so, is so very important. Today's about health care. Uh, it's about our cancer agency. It's about this dynamic company phenomenon. It's about our uh, the lab facilities and research facilities in this province. But, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, today is also about Saskatchewan leadership and what might be next for our province. We know that we are blessed with a lot of natural resources, but by and large, they're non-renewable. We've got to be thinking about what's next in Saskatchewan. How do we build on that resource strength to build the economy and, and the innovation community of tomorrow? Well, we think we should build on our strengths. If we're leaders in agriculture, and we are, then we should lead in biotechnology to provide for the jobs of tomorrow. If we're a leader in energy, and we are, then we ought to invest in carbon capture technology and perhaps clean coal facilities and build the jobs of tomorrow on the basis of that reputation and resource strength. And if we are the birthplace of Medicare, and we are most assuredly the birthplace of Medicare, if our roots run deep in health care, then we ought to act like it in terms of being willing to step out in leadership with respect to research. We ought to have, for example, a PET scan a, a, availability in our province, and we will. We ought to have a nuclear medicine program that builds on the heritage of, of the pioneering of Cobalt 60. We ought to be able to get questions for people that are thinking about MS liberation treatment around the world. We should be able to provide those answers by, through clinical trials in this province, and we should be able to have days like today, where we will work with our innovation community and our, uh, our providers and dynamic groups like the Cancer Agency. So I want to thank Phenomenome Discoveries uh, for making today possible. I want to thank the Saskatchewan Cancer Agency for making today possible. We want to thank the Saskatchewan D Disease Control Lab for also making it possible today. Hope is indeed the physician of each misery. And today the doctor got a little more room uh, to operate in, its, in our desire to beat cancer. So thanks for joining us today, and uh, we look forward to questions a little bit later on.